Yeah, great. I like those. Emma, let me explain that to you again. Okay. I mean, this is so easy to understand. Here. Look, this is a variety. This is a variety. The variety at its yield potential. You put enough fertilizer. It's the top of the range what the breeders can provide us. It has a good environment, it has enough moisture, everything is alright. So you harvest the maximum. But the small scale farmer has a different situation. Yeah? Maybe he cannot apply all the management practices that we can apply on a station. Yeah? So the, the real situation for the small scale farmer is like this. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So he loses. He loses um, this gap here because of management, yeah? And in reality, it's not only the management that matters, it's also the markets. Maybe the farmer don't get enough um, for his, his maize, so he doesn't apply all the, the necessary management practices, inputs, herbicides, whatever you can imagine of. That's why there's another gap here volatile markets but the real situation is actually quite different it's like this the small-scale farmer in Africa only gets this much because there is also risk involved and the risk is the most important because there is risk he doesn't apply all these management practices because there's risk, he doesn't apply enough fertilizer because if there's drought, he will lose all of his investment. So, what we can do, and there is hope, we can reduce the risk for this farm by applying better management practices that reduce his risk. For example, if we apply residue cover that reduce the risk of drought, we can get him at least to this level, yeah? If the markets can be improved, we can get the farmer even to this level here. And then we, we get him closer and closer to the yield potential. And that's important to get him food secure and out of poverty.